to de-enamel or not to de-enamel? That is the question. When you're enameling, invariably, sometimes things aren't going to turn out the way you wanted them to. You need to ask yourself a couple of questions. Is the color just a little off? Is it just not what you were expecting? If the answer is yes, I'm going to suggest that you not de-enamel it. Instead, put it away for a few weeks and look at it later with fresh eyes. Don't miss out on something really good just because it wasn't what you were expecting. And remember, nobody else knows what you had in your head. The thing is, de-enameling is not a cost-free eraser. There can be damage to the metal when you do this. Sometimes things really do go wrong. Maybe you had a color reaction and it turned really muddy and ugly, or maybe you got some big bubbles in it. If the next stage is the recycle bin, then you've got nothing to lose by de-enameling it, and that's where you'll go next. So you're going to need a few things. The first thing being denamel, the enamel remover. You're also going to need a bucket of water, make sure you have safety glasses, and your usual enameling tools. Let's go ahead and mix it up. All right. So I'm just going to scoop some here into a cup. And then I'm going to add some water. It saturates very quickly, so add the water slowly. You're going for like a cake frosting consistency. It looks like I got it just right. Eh, maybe one more drop of water. I don't want it too runny. I just want it to sit on the surface of the enamel. So this is pretty horrible. This is those beautiful reds and oranges and yellows that we used on the river project fired directly onto silver. Doesn't work. You cannot selectively remove enamel. You can't just remove part of it. It is an all or nothing proposition. So make sure you cover all of the enamel with the de-enamel paste. Get my safety glasses on. And I'm gonna put it in the kiln. I have the kiln preheated to 1450. All right, I'm gonna set a timer for two minutes. You'll notice I went ahead and put it in wet. You want to put it in wet, not dry. It works much better that way. It's gonna smoke. It's going to catch on fire. You may even see sparks in your kiln. It's okay, it's perfectly normal and it won't harm your kiln. That's just the product working to loosen up that enamel. It's completely non-toxic. Once it's finished firing, I'm going to be pulling it out and dumping it trivet and all into the bucket. Um, it's going to, it won't hurt your trivet, and it's going to make a really loud cracking noise. So try not to be startled by that. That's just the enamel coming off. It's really important that you wear your safety glasses because sometimes a little piece of enamel can pop off and go flying, and you need to protect your eyes. Okay, let's look. This has still got a little time to go. We'll come back when the timer is done. All right, there's our timer. You ready for this? Okay, let's see what we got. Look at that. All the enamel is off. When you do this at home, I want you to keep the bucket on the floor, not on the tabletop. We only have the bucket up here because it makes it easier for filming. When you do the de-enameling, sometimes enamel can go flying, and we want to keep that far away from our face. So I always keep the bucket on the floor. Before this is ready to re-enamel, we're going to have to do a little more work on it. Um, I want you to go ahead and wire brush it. And if there's any black marks that don't come off when you brush it, then repeat the de-enameling process because it's probably residual enamel. After that, refire the piece at 1600 for 10 minutes. It should come out nice and bright. If there's any black or discolored marks, again, that's probably residual enamel, and repeat the de-enameling process, and then refire it again. Once you have it refired successfully, Tumble it for two hours. 
and that'll get it well burnished again. At that point, it should be ready for re-enameling. Occasionally, I have a student tell me that even after going through all these steps, the enamel will pull or it won't adhere to the de-enameled metal. It happens sometimes. These steps of brushing and refiring and tumbling should mitigate that, but if it doesn't, then it might be time to try a different method for coloring it, such as using epoxy resins, colored pencils, or patinas. That's all you need to know about de-enameling.